the lower oil prices, commodity and mineral prices of course is troublesome for many in the world but it's also an opportunity for others like us and therefore if we today seriously introspect and then analyze the roadmap ahead we can find out how we can move forward now if I analyze each one of our infrastructure sectors I think this is providing us with some form of an opportunity also but we must uh, have the intellectual honesty to analyze where our shortcomings and our failings also have been so that we are in a position to rectify them. Last year we made a push in the direction, a push which we intend to continue, where a lot of resources were put in the direction of uh, at least the national highways, the rural roads, the railways, and are now see the result of that is visible in the last one year that the stalled projects amongst the highways have now got moving. As a result of uh, enhanced public investment, even private sector players who had got bogged down in their disputes with uh, the highway authorities have now re-entered re the field back. And a positive response is clearly visible. We are inviting private sector including foreign investment into the infrastructure of the railways. The fund that we intended to put in place has already been put in place, the infrastructure fund. The first meeting has already been held and we are in touch with a large number of international sovereign and pension funds which want to become uh, 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 partners with us in that particular project. And therefore even in the funding requirements our priorities uh, and direction is absolutely clear.